Hello and welcome to the Stabila eCampus. Stabila is the specialist for reliable and user-friendly measuring tools of the highest quality and precision for professional use. Today, my colleague Michael Haag and I present our electronic angle finder TEC700DA. Michael, Stabila is not only known for its levels, lasers and tape measures, but also as a specialist for electronic measuring tools of the highest quality made in Germany. Mm -hmm. So what is this product about? The TEC700DA is an electronic or digital angle finder. This means that I can easily measure and transmit angles here. Mm -hmm. um, the product claim for this product is more than a digital angle finder. Mm -hmm. So what is the more? Uh, the TechSign da is a three-in-one device. In addition to its function as an angle finder, I also have a bevel and a spirit level. Mm -hmm. So all good things come in three. So one after the other. Mm -hmm. So um, we talk about the main function, mm -hmm. the angle finder. Could you show us? Sure, I'd love to. So I can determine both internal and external angles very easily and quickly with the device. I'll just show it here. So. I switch on the device here. In addition, I can switch on a dimmable display illumination, which is practical when the environment on the construction side is a little bit darker. So we have two steps here, mm -hmm. first one and the second one, and which is very even brighter. Bright. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, then I have two particularly wide contact edges here at the top, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I put the angle finder on and fold out the arm here until it rests on the other side of the angle to be measured. So I'll just show that here. Mm -hmm. So I can just open that arm. Um, so you can measure an angle or um, put it to the angle you want to have in mm -hmm. the end. Um, thanks to the large digits on the display, you can read off the angle value very, very easily. Oh, that's really simple. So what about the... Uh, Accuracy. Is it very accurate? Yeah, sure. So the accuracy is plus minus 0 0.1 degrees. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what about the electronics in terms of water and dust? Uh, we know that on construction sites it's getting very rough sometimes. And mm -hmm. uh, does that hurt the electronic? Uh, no. So this is why we have sealed everything here so that it is tied according to protection class IP54. Uh, this means that the unit is protected against dust and splash water from all sides. Ah, great. So we should show our viewers uh, more detail about these uh, uh, edges here, which you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I know there are a lot of uh, angle finders on the market or electronic uh, angle finders and they all follow the same principle of construction and also our old model had the same construction mm -hmm, principle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should show the difference perhaps to the new one? Yeah, sure, exactly. So uh, as at all of our other products too, we are in constant exchange with professionals in the trade worldwide. So during the development of the TechSignal DA, we asked intensively what was bothering users with their previous angle finders. And one frequent feedback was that it is not very practical to put on, also because you constantly slip off. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we changed that also compared to our old one. So um, it looked like that. So you had the profile and a U, or like in that case, an L-shaped arm to fold it out. Mm -hmm. And then we can demonstrate the use, I have a tile here yeah. to demonstrate the contact edge. So just try it with mm -hmm. that one to yeah. put it on. <laughs> and to be honest, it's almost impossible because uh, here this L arm uh, prevents that I can easily put the angle finder here on, at the contact edge. Yeah. Uh, and if I move the arm, I need a high force and it's still moving. Yeah, so exactly. And now just Problem. try it out with the Tech 700 da mm -hmm. We have here the contact edge, so very easy. And I don't need a high force to yeah. hold it and it doesn't move. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. And this gives you the possibility to put on the angle finder neatly at the front mm -hmm. as well as at the back because of that we have the mm -hmm. two contact edges. Mm -hmm. This is not only more comfortable but also much more accurate and safe because you cannot accidentally slip. Yeah, so uh, the, the other one would be like that makes no sense at the tile but if you have a beam or whatever yeah. but, uh, you can also use it the other way around. Yeah, exactly. And another advantage which mm -hmm. just comes to my mind. So. 
With us, you have, in contrast to many conventional angle finders, an extremely large opening angle of up to 200 Wow. and 70 degrees. <laughs> yeah, uh, normally they stop at whatever, 180 degrees. something like yeah, that. But yeah. here you can go much wider. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Uh, very versatile. Yeah. Um, so this is the function of the electronic angle finder. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's explain the other buttons perhaps first, yeah, sure. before we come to the other functions. So you already explained the on-off button. Uh, and the light key, mm -hmm. and so what's this key for? So this is the function of the angle bisector. At the touch of a button, I can display half of the value of the measured angle here. Mm -hmm. This is ideal for quick and precise miter cuts. So for example, we have here now 36.6 degrees. Mm -hmm. If I press that button, it's 18.3. Uh, so if you have a 90 degrees, you can calculate that easily in your by your brain, <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, with more uh, strange angles, it's uh, just easy for yeah. not having to calculate. Yeah, exactly. You save yourself the calculation. Yeah. Okay. So next key, what's the hold button for? Yeah, just go out of the uh, bisector mode. So the hold uh, button is uh, that the measured value is saved in the end. So we have here 36.6 degrees. If I now press the hold button, you can see that it says hold mm -hmm. and the digits are just flashing. Mm -hmm. And if you then move the arm, mm -hmm. you can see that nothing happens. So okay. the value is still the same. This is practical if you're working in a place that is difficult to see, for example, or difficult to reach. Mm -hmm. You can first measure, save, and then read at another place. So I could close the arm, go somewhere else and read off the value and to write it down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So last uh, button is the ref. Button. Ref key, yeah. Uh, we just go out of the hold mode again and now we go to ref. Mm -hmm. So the ref mode is used to transfer a reference angle to other components. Pressing the key sets the set angle as a zero degree reference. So in the mm -hmm. moment we have 55.9 degrees. Yes. If you now press the ref button, this angle is set to zero degrees. Okay. And now you can, for example, go to another component or what you want to uh, install and you can see, oh, okay, I have uh, to move it yeah, until zero. Okay. Until zero, and then you have the exact same value as before. And if you press the ref button only briefly, you can see the referenced angle. So uh -huh. it was this 55.9. Yeah. And if you press it for a longer time, you can again quit the reference mode. Perfect. And speaking of transferring, uh, if I don't use the hold mode uh, or hold function and, and move the angle finder to somewhere else, mm -hmm. doesn't the arm move? It can happen, but it doesn't have to. Uh, it just depends on how strong the movement in the end is. Uh, for safety's sake, we have a mechanical lock system here. So this locks the arm and allows you to transfer the ah, angle safely. Okay, so then I can take it away. And yeah, yeah it's exactly. Safe. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, we have now seen how to transfer a measured angle safely and easily, but I can also use the device as a mechanical uh, uh, bevel gauge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that is the second function of this 3-in-1 device. With the bevel, you can use it to transfer undefined angle to work pieces. So mm -hmm. simply place it at the angle to be transferred, mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah. Move it there, fold the arm, lock it, and then transfer it to somewhere to else. Yeah. So the difference between the electronic angle finder uh, function and the bevel is with the electronic uh, function, I know I have a certain angle, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. or I can read the angle. Yeah. With the bevel, it's just transferring uh, uh, without even knowing perhaps uh, what the exact angle is. I just want to transfer a specific angle. That's right, and because of that, you don't need the electronics at yeah. that moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, then briefly to the third function. Mm -hmm. As we talked, it's a three-in-one tool. Mm -hmm. So the third function is the spirit level. Exactly. Um, so as with all of our spirit levels, our Stabila quality wiles are installed here and with our unique lock wiles installation system. Mm -hmm. This guarantees that the wiles are still precisely aligned with the measuring surface even after falls and many years of use. If you would like to learn more about the many positive features of our Stabila quality vials and the locked vials installation system, I recommend our Spirit Level Basics video in our YouTube playlist eCampus. And look, when the measuring arm is folded in, it does not cover the upper vial. Mm -hmm. We can have here the uh, our old version, but 
the principle, as we said, still applies to many products on the market. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge difference. If you look from above, <laughs> you see that the L-shaped arm is covering the vial, mm -hmm. the horizontal vial, mm -hmm. you yeah. can't read it. And um, perhaps the camera can show that also. If I have it here from, uh, from the front, it's also covering the back, mm -hmm. so you can't really Ah, easily read it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not the horizontal and not the vertical vial. Yeah. And thanks to our special mm. shape, this is not the same at the Tech Samuel DA, and you can use mm -hmm. it really as a normal mm. spirit level, Great. even if the arm is folded in. That's fantastic. So that really shows that, uh, yeah, with uh, rethinking construction, you can make life much more easier. Absolutely. Um, okay. Um, best. Um, what's the scope of delivery? Um, in addition to the angle finder itself, there is always a practical bag that protects the device and can be used to transport it. So, so let's, let's just open the bag. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, there so it is. So this is for, uh, exactly, exactly for that version. Um, the scope of delivery also includes two AA mm. batteries and documentation with information on safety and operation. Okay, nice. And we have two versions, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. So in a 45 centimeter long version mm -hmm. and we have the 80 centimeter long version. Oh, that's quite a tool, huh? <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> but for some applications it's simply better than the short version. Mm -hmm. So think for example of checking room angles when you have to fit a kitchen work top. Mm -hmm. uh, the standard measurement for kitchen furniture is 60 centimeters deep, okay. so 45 centimeter long angle finder are not enough in the mm -hmm. end. Or for carpentry work or many trades more. The mm -hmm. bigger your measuring tool is and the more it covers the object mm -hmm. to be measured, the better. In the end it means more accurate. That also applies to spirit levels. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Great, so if I have to measure uh, often angles, uh, short angles and long angles, I better buy two versions. I would absolutely recommend that. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, Michael. Thanks a lot again for your explanations. It was a great pleasure, as always. For me too, thank you. Okay, and I hope for you, our viewers too. Do you work in wood furniture or kitchen construction? Or as a tiler in metal construction, drywall construction, or in another trade where you often have to measure and transfer angles precisely? Then the Tech 700 da is the ideal tool for you to make your work easier, faster, and more precise. The investment in this high-quality 3-in-1 tool will pay off for you in no time, and you won't want to do without it. The many positive feedbacks from professionals all over the world confirm this. On our Stabila official YouTube channel, you will find more interesting videos on the topic of measuring tools under the playlist eCampus. Why don't you take a look? Thank you and good luck in everything you tackle.